Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new few cards coming out in Dawn of Majesty. So we got a new card that both potentially may be able to lock your opponent out of uh, summoning certain things. And then on top of that, we've got another new Mystical Beast support card. So anyways, kicking it off first with the new Carpiponica, the Mystical Beast of the Forest. It's going to be a new level 7 Earth Beast effect monster with 1,000 attack and 2,600 defense points. And it says that you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each. The first part of it says if this card is sent from the hand to the graveyard, you get to target two other monsters with different types from each other. Beast, Beast Warrior, Wing Beast, Insect, Plant in your graveyard. Shuffle them into the deck and if you do, spell summon this card. The second part of it says, if this card is normal or special summon, you get to add one mystical beast of the force or mystical spirit of the force monster from your deck to your hand, except for uh, Carpiponica, mystical beast of the force. So it can't target itself. And uh, I was wondering, okay, what are the actual targets with this? Because is it any good as of right now? Looking at what we currently have right now in the game, there's really nothing that uh, really sticks out like some of the other uh, mystical beasts. Yeah, sure. Like these did see some play in like the Melfi's or the Marfe uh, archetype. There's also the random target of mystical beast of circuit. But realistically, is this going to be impacting the game? At least in its current state, it's just more that we're getting more mystical beast support but it technically can work with other plant things to shuffle them back in the deck and recycle other things but to proc the other effect i would say that it would be low tier in terms of like the metagame at least as of right now but we'll see if they get extra support later down the line now the next card is actually going to be called Perrin the Skylark Dragon, although it's not even a dragon, it's going to be a rank 6 worm uh, Exceeds monster, and uh, it's got 2700 attack and 1300 defense points. And its materials are two level 6 monsters, and it says that you can only use this card to name second effect once per turn. The first part of it is that it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect while a monster special summoned from the graveyard other than Perrin the Skylark Dragon is face up on the field, which is really easy to do because it has a second part of the effect of once per turn during the standby phase, you can detach a material from this card, then target one level five or lower monster in your graveyard and special summon. What does that mean for the meta of the game? I mean, as far as, you know, rank sixes, you know, and virtual world can go for it. There's the <laughs> hazy flames, if anyone actually remembers that archetype. Um, but realistically, I don't know if anyone's going to be trying to splash this in, but technically barrier statues are kind of like the go-to card. If you are trying to go for like a special summon monster during your opponent's turn, that would just lock them out. If you're playing something that can happen to also go for barrier statues and uh, you happen to have it in the grave, yeah, you're able to go uh, target it spell summon and then lock your opponent out and then on top of that it can't be destroyed by battle bar card effect while monster special summon from the graveyard is face up on the field so that means if your opponent tries to go ahead and get rid of this card which if you barrier statue them it might be a little bit more difficult but if they're able to get rid of let's say the barrier statue it's just the standby phase not your standby phase so that will include when you go into your opponent's turn you're able to summon it and lock them out or if they don't get rid of this card, you just bring back the card. Um, there's probably a lot more plays with this. There's going to be a lot of things I think that a lot of people might be locked into, right? Like some cards would be like you can only special summon like once after this effect, or you can only summon like a very specific monster. Maybe it's you're locked into worms, right? But then go to your opponent's turn during their standby phase, you go for something else that normally you're not supposed to be able to go for. And again, locking your opponent out. There's probably a lot of interesting things that could maybe have some activated effect during your opponent's standby phase. You can do something so i think this card has a lot of potential uh definitely for the game but as far as like what, what would be actually meta i think to only have a like five or lower that could lock your opponent out barrier statue is pretty much the go-to but anyways those are going to be the new Yu Gi Oh cards you guys can let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comment section below but if you enjoyed the video drop a like on it and if you're new here and do want to see more new Yu Gi Oh cards as soon as they get announced hit subscribe turn on the bell and you'll definitely see more very soon but take care and i'll catch you in the next video and i'm out peace